Going on guys, Phantom Cave here with the latest featured artist video and today we are looking at the featured artist of Jeremy McPherson. He's a big, I'm gonna say this, he's a big supporter of the show and he does some amazing, amazing art. We are now going to showcase his art in this video. So the first up is his art, his cover art for the first trade paperback special. Now, if you, he he just comes out of he just comes out of and and comes out of nothing and produces this. This is absolute bomb. This is absolutely absolutely damn good. And this was published, I think, a couple of years ago or something like that. So, and I've had this for a couple of years, I think. And as we turn over to the next, the back cover, we have a little story on what happens in the book. Um, and actually, actually, the Phantom, the few have recently released a new trade paperback special. So, and it is the Triads saga with a new part by um, a new part by. Felmang and some other guy and so we, the next one up is a 2016 book it is Nat Turner mystery part 3 the heart of darkness part 6 unmarked murderer and this one is obviously done by Macperson you can tell because of the just one color using on the phantom and it's just so good he's been getting so much better at his art it's just unbelievable how good he is and so coming in next is the nat turner spirit part five and that is actually only six issues after we have the second cover that i just talked about it is got Nat Turner's Spirit Part 5 Revolt, like I said, and it's got also got Heart of Darkness Chapter 2 Part 2. And we can tell it's MacPerson again because it is solid colour around the Phantom and solid colour around the evil guy. And for those who have not subscribed to the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, go down below and click that subscriber button. We're at 88 subscribers, so go down below and click it. So, back to where we were. The challenge is another awesome, awesome artwork by McPerson. We have a, we basically, I, I think, I, I still know what happens in this book, so, and it's between Guran and the new guy, the feather guy, obviously. I'm not going to delve into that book right now, but if I, I'm pretty sure I've already done this in one of my, my collection episodes, so if you want to go have a look at that, go have a look at it. I'll put a link up here somewhere. Up there somewhere. Coming in next is Frisco Frenzy. Now this book I absolutely love. And the cover art, anyways, is also pretty good. We have Heart of Darkness Chapter 4 Part Episode 1. And it is number 1797. So I'm pretty sure it comes from probably 20, 2017. So and we also know it's a MacPerson artwork because we it says he's it says his little signature on the back cover and we also know because every nearly every Mac person artwork he does is his signature is either on the front cover obviously or the back cover and that is obviously what I'm going to tell we also have another Mac person artwork on the wall today and as I had done in a poll, we have had a poll on the Instagram channel, the page where I do, I just do loads of stuff on there. So this one in particular was on the wall. So I put a poll up, I think last night. And so we we were wondering if people as Phantom fans loved the phantom wall or they wanted a new camera placement which the 
the way I'm shooting it right now is the new camera placement if if you like it um, comment down below comment down below if you don't and you want the phantom wall back comment down below and yeah, Diana in the jungle patrols so this this actual story was a story chosen by Michael Leake and he is the creator of the phantom card game now that card game is exploding on the Kickstarter platform and so you can go and you can go buy that card game once it's funded um, from Kickstarter I'll put a link down below and she'll be fine and so we have this obviously is another um, Mac person cover and also has Heart of Darkness chapter 4 so part we have Lost at Sea part 2 the singing statues this was actually a couple eps parts up like a couple issues after the supernova special in I think 2018 I think either 2018 or 2019 and it's a very good story now as we are talking about Macperson artworks you can I know I've said this already but you can actually see the difference between another artwork and his artwork so if we on the wall grab um, a mainly artwork just hang on a second if we grab this one here you can tell it has loads of highlights and shadows in it so Macperson does do shadows and highlights he just does them in a different way so he does them with just one black one solid color and then comes in with shadows and highlights and it's so good that's why i love his artwork and that's why it's getting featured in this features artist video and so coming next is last year's evil forces now i actually had to check on the back cover if it actually was his artwork and uh, surprisingly it is so this story the first i think couple stories the first couple stories including the dark chalice part one and part two i didn't really like because they were too dark for me i do like my heavily shadowed stories but this one was i think too heavily shadowed and too too just too dark in a lot of aspects and so next we have the man of the zebra now this is a guardian of the eastern dark i think guardian of the eastern Oh, yeah, Guardian of Eastern Dark. So this, I think, might be the same story as what I've reviewed already. But and plus, there's a Macperson artwork because you can tell, obviously, because of the solid color and just the color palette, obviously. And coming next, we have a very, very recent Macperson artwork. We have. The fight against Sing Part One: Shadows Over Sing Town, and this is just mind blowing. It is just good, so good. And as always, if you want to subscribe to the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, go down, click the subscriber button. We're at 88 subscribers, so get down there, click it, and like, share, comment down below. And as always. Keep phantom caving and keep safe from this pandemic that is affecting us. See you.